Hi, my name is Toby Thompson. I'm here today with Mohammed Aldenabi, and we have another DBA student whose title of the DBA is What is the Impact of Procurement Skills on Procurement Performance? Interesting alliteration in that title there. Before we go into what that means, tell me more about yourself. Yeah, uh, I am Mohammed Aldenabi from uh, United Arab Emirates, and uh, I have been studying in uh, my bachelor's in business administration, then I did my master in project management. Then I have decided to continue my uh, graduate study and do a DBA here at Cranfield. So I've been uh, in the procurement field for almost uh, 16 years, ranging from uh, semi-government industry, which is oil and gas sector. Then I moved to property development for a couple of years. And at, at this stage, I'm in the government sector. So I've been moving in a different industry within the same professional uh, procurement function. So procurement is your thing by the sound of it. Tell me more about procurement and the research that you're doing on it. Right. My research is actually is about procurement skills and how it is impacting procurement performance. So uh, currently I'm done with my uh, literature review, which is a systematic lit literature review. And I've been looking at different kind of procurement skill sets. So I looked at in a different uh, pro uh, procurement profiles and different kind of skill set, which is ranging from strategic skills into non-strategic skills, which is the transactional kind of skills that a procurement professional would need on a daily kind of uh, uh, usage of their skills, and comparing them to, to uh, or looking at them, how they are affecting procurement performance. And I have found that procurement performance are ranging also from operational performance measure into also corporate and strategic level of uh, performance uh, evaluation, performance measure. So basically, I have... Uh, done my systematic literature review recently and I'm going to the next phase which is looking at how I can create a research design and how it will fit my uh, empirical project at a later stage. So uh, you've gotten quite a way in by the sound of it. Are there any surprises that you found so far in your research? Well actually there are actually there are some uh, findings from the literature review that shows procurement actually as a function is trans transiting from transactional kind of function into more strategic function. In the other hand, the procurement performance, the majority of it are still being measured as an operational kind of measurement rather than strategic level of uh, evaluation or performance, looking at it rather from functional into a more strategic and corporate level. So this kind of uh, interesting initial finding for me has uh, made me think more deeply into the subject and make me curious about looking at the relationship between different kind of procurement types and different kind of procurement performance measure comparing to strategic and non-strategic skills and also looking at operation and, and corporate kind of performance level uh, measurement. So. so who might be the consumer of your research when you write your book or your report? Who's the reader of that report? Right. Actually, uh, I'm trying to, to look at the procurement kind of uh, and supply chain audience. So I'll be focusing more into my area, which is procurement and supply chain, and on the other hand, also looking at the business support functions, which are more of a day-to-day -day, uh, relationship with them within the organization. So these are my main audience at, at, the, at this stage. And in terms of the method, is there something different about the method that hasn't been done before in this field? Right. Actually, I've looked at the method, but uh, in terms of method, it could be either quantitative or qualitative. But the majority of it, like a 60%, is quantitative. But at this stage, I haven't decided whether I'm going to the quantitative or qualitative. But the more interesting part is the context. I'm doing my research in United Arab Emirates, Emirates, which is in the Middle East. I only found one, one research which has been done in Saudi Arabia, and the rest of it are mainly in USA and Europe. So the context is, might be the, the different kind of uh, finding, hopefully, for the, the new audience within my region. Wow, oh, unique panel, piece of research by the sound of it. Tell right. me more about your time at Cranford then. How has the support gone on? Right. How has that research methods gone on? Tell me more about that. Right. I've, I've actually enjoyed my experience here at Cranfield. Cranfield is one of the best universities, especially in my field, which is logistic and supply chain. I have in, I really enjoyed my experience and the support I got from my lead supervisor, Dr. Saroush, and my panel as well, the, the director of the program, Professor uh, Emma Berry, and also my professor, the other supporting uh, supervisor, which is uh, Professor Richard Wilding. All of the team has been great, actually, support and the resources within the, the library and the IT and the whole campus is a great resource that I have really enjoyed. 
and I enjoyed my experience here at Cranfield from the early start, which is in 2013 up to now. We look forward to hearing your reports and your research output. Mohammed, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you.